Hello my lovelies, Chef Kieran Hales out here at Zingerman's Coal Man Farms continuing the series on my top 10 favourite cookbooks. Um, one that really I'm sure is in every chef's collection uh, is a Scoffier guide. Um, this is definitely a guide when we talk about um, cookbooks. Uh, we sometimes think a little bit more about the chef, we think a little bit more about the restaurant that they might be in. Uh, Escoffier was a gentleman that helped organize our kitchens the way that we use them today. Um, and this is really a user guide of what it is to write menus or to know what a dish is or a variation on a dish. Um, if you've never picked up a Escoffier or never used it, it can be a little confusing. Uh, it'll start out talking about like the chicken breast and then it'll do all the variations of how that can turn into a different classical French dish. Um, they've definitely got other nationalities of foods in here, but it's a lot of French classical cuisine. Um, it's a really interesting way to look at the variations. I think uh, what I've always loved about the Escoffier cookbook and definitely cookbooks in general is that this is where recipes are trapped. Uh, Google and searching for recipes online, you'll never find some of these recipes. And if you are, there's probably be one or two pages about them talking them very obscurely. This is where they are and getting the cookbooks out and going through them really opens up that creativity of thought and how you want to combine things. Uh, a lot of this is regional French foods. So you might be talking about somewhere that changes 20 miles down the road, just how different that chicken breast dish is or how they've braised up a thigh or how they've been making their cold hams. Um, I probably use this book more than any other book. Uh, this is actually my second copy. My Wonderful mother had brought me an original first edition English translation. It is tucked away really safe. This is kind of my everyday copy of the Escoffier cookbook. Um, there's also a little book called The Repertoire, uh, which isn't about Escoffier, but it's kind of a similar method where it's taking a main ingredient and then giving you all of the variations below. Um, in this series, we like to talk about um, a recipe from the book that we really love. This is a little different. Um, definitely there's lots of recipes in here or inspiration uh, for dishes. Uh, I did pick out something so we could chat about it. And so on page 389 of the Escoffier cookbook, uh, there's poulet sa uh, saute Saint Lambert. Uh, and so this is a chicken breast. And so if you flick back a few pages, it starts to describe what is a chicken breast, which I think is interesting. Uh, sometimes we think we know what that is, but it really defines its shape, its structure, and what things should be on there. And then it goes to loads of variations of them. Uh, in here, at that recipe on page 389, we're on recipe 3242. Uh, it's very interestingly arranged in a very brief descriptor. So we're not talking about a lot of ingredients. We're not talking about a lot of information on how many this is gonna make, more about the principles behind it. Uh, so in here it describes that we're going to be using carrots, turnips, onions and mushrooms, lean bacon, parsley, stalks and celery. I'm going to cook gently together with a bouillon. We're going to cook that down to a nice glaze, adding that sauteed chicken breast in there. And then we're going to arrange the vegetables over the top. One of the nice things about this dish, and I really love, uh, it's definitely out of vogue right now, but as all things it will come back. Uh, the little Parisienne scoops we used at the beginning of uh, my time in kitchens, got little pearls of carrots in there and peas, and I absolutely love that uh, fresh flavor in there. It's a nice way to use the vegetable for stock and also use those beautiful Parisienne balls uh, for garnish. Um, this cookbook, definitely a little more intimidating. This might be medium to high uh, level, skill level as far as using it, because you need to know a little bit more about what's going on in the kitchen to understand but it's a really great reference. So if you're looking for something to give you inspiration, uh, a little bit more delving past what you could get onto a quick search on the internet, this kind of book, this, the Escoffier Guide or uh, the Repertoire are really great cookbooks for that. Uh, that hopefully opens up the door for you getting some more historical cookbooks and being interested in kind of delving past the everyday cookbooks that are out there now and some of those you know pre 1980s 1970 cookbooks even going back into the 1800s so grab yourself a copy of this for sure this should be on your shelves and we'll get on to the next book next look at that four minutes 40 i'm making them longer